Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Thank you very much for coming by the channel once again to see some more Captain Subasa Dream Team. Here with the homie Nak, we'll bring you in this video an analysis of the new Morigot Morisaki Dream Collection Goalkeeper that was just released a couple of days ago or so. Uh, I apologize as I had not had an opportunity to record earlier like I wanted to. I was actually very hopeful that on Friday when it was when he was when he was released that I would have the opportunity to do so I spent like 50 bucks on that cable to use my phone on this and look at what's happening I have to be like very careful not touch it and all that stuff man what's up okay so anyway so yeah I didn't have an opportunity come on dude what's going on I barely even touched it <laughs> So anyway, like I said, you know, I hadn't had enough. I didn't get the opportunity like I wanted to. And then, uh, you know, well, life happens and whatever. And so, you know, I just have not been able to. And today, finally, finally, I've managed to get um, some babysitting for my kids. So I can go ahead and make time to put up this video. And, uh, you know, and even though I'm complaining and blah, blah, blah. And I'm kind of like, oh, well, you know, blah, 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 blah. I do want to take this opportunity to realize and give thanks just for the fact that i'm here right now the fact that i'm able to create this content right now the fact that uh it seems that a lot of you are enjoying the content uh, i appreciate the support i'm grateful for just the op for to have the opportunity to complain about something as small as not being able to put up content when i want to i mean it would be different if like let's say for example uh if this was my livelihood but it's not at least not right now uh it's just something that i'm doing on this side but of course like i said i want to get paid on it and so far uh you know i'm celebrating that now i made it to the point where i guess i do get ad revenue now but it's funny because uh i saw and it shows you kind of like the estimated revenue and i was all like look babe i made my first dollar off of this <laughs> so you know i'm celebrating that you know it's like i mean if I went full time into this, maybe, you know, I could make the channel grow a lot more. I, you know, there's a lot of stuff that I had in mind and I'm always like with ideas and whatever. But I mean, the reality is, is that this is not my full time job right now. This is it's something that, you know, like I said, I'm very passionate about for sure. But also I do like the line of work that I'm in. I'm going to be uh, school starts again tomorrow. And so it's going to be a little hectic. So, you know, I only got a little bit of time to record and blah, blah, blah. But you know i wanted to give you guys a quick like i guess update that nobody asked for but just to kind of like you know it's not that i'm trying to lag it guys you know but i guess if you could say that my lagging it teaches you patience like if you were like wondering well should i pour or not well let me wait for nako well, i guess i'm teaching you to be patient <laughs> but no 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 i I'm, I'm truly grateful for whether you've already pulled before i've you know pull up a video or anything like that if you still come by and check out the content and all that you know i appreciate that very much uh you know and thank you for those of you guys that are watching the ads you know letting it play or whatever uh, like i said if you're running into a 20 minute ad my bad i don't have no control over any of that but i mean any any time that you could spare 15 to 20 seconds which i believe might be the threshold for me to get credit to get some form of payment on the ad if you don't mind sparing me some of that valuable time of yours, I would appreciate that very much. You know, I'm not in the mood to set up a Patreon or anything like that to have you guys like try and support me in that way. But, you know, like 10, 15 seconds is like a good water break. You got to stay hydrated anyway, you know, water break or do something. Go to the restroom. We've been holding it in, whatever, you know, go, go do that. Hook me up. You know, maybe I'd like to at least make enough money to like pay for some groceries or something, you know, off of this. It'd be nice, you know, because times are tough. Times are tough. And so, you know, that's why even though I'm a complainer sometimes, you know, because my life is probably not going my way or just because it's kind of difficult. You know, I realize that there are a lot of things in this world that are happening and some that are a lot, far more serious. I know that the struggles that a lot of people face out there are far more serious. I know that there's a lot of uh, things going on and so I apologize that I guess sometimes it might just be a little natural in my nature to complain a little bit but it's because I want you know I just wish things were good for everybody and I want things to be good for me as well obviously 
But you know, things could be worse. Things could be bad. At least they're not bad. You know, I'm just learning to deal with things in this journey, this game that we call life. And you know, we all go through our struggles. And well, you know, my bad if I like, if I sound like I'm privileged or something like that. And I'm complaining about nothing. You know, it's not my intent. In the end, what I want is for all of you guys to be happy, for everybody to be happy, you know. And, and so I hope that with I'm able to bring you some sort of excitement because I get excited doing these videos and I like get some joy out of it too. And I hope that it brings you some kind of joy in a world that's filled with beauty, but also with like chaos and all this stuff, you know what I mean? And so like I'm just uh, very thankful just to be able to do this, just to have this as a struggle. Like, okay, I got to set up. Okay, I got to make sure everything works. Okay, so it takes me a little bit longer than to just sit down and record whatever. But at least I get the chance to do it, you know. And that's something I don't take for granted. That is something that I'm very happy about. It's something that I, I'm very thankful for. And so, yeah, I just wanted to make sure that I gave thanks. And that I hope you find your reasons to smile and these reasons to be happy. And, uh, yeah, good luck to you in life. And good luck to you in this game. And good luck to you in figuring trying to figure things out all right so anyway let's proceed with the analysis and the pools otherwise i'm gonna run out of time and i'm gonna get distracted and i'm gonna go nah, 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 forever and i'll never you know because sometimes i get going and i don't stop i don't stop you know so it's kind of like <laughs> but okay anyway as you see one more day tomorrow i get woo! fitty dream balls that are humming and so for this account because it's my main one I was gonna go up to like let's say the plan was gonna go to go up to like 500 for Subasa, right? And then whatever I would have had left, I was thinking, okay, maybe pull for Chavi, but in the end, it's not beneficial for me to pull for Chavi after all. So and I got Subasa in about 350 Dream Balls, and uh, oh, and that's funny. You see, I didn't change the SP, so I didn't get the Subasa thing. I didn't need it. But I could have probably needed in the future and I didn't get it. And I was, oh, I was kind of mad about it at the same time. Like, hey, you know what, man? Oh, well. Oh, well. There's a lot of things going on. And then also that I get so mad, I just get upset and frustrated with myself because I want to be organized. I wish I wasn't so all over the place sometimes, you know, and that I could just like focus. But it's just that sometimes it's crazy because like in life, sometimes things don't slow down, right? Like you're trying to do one thing and all oh, the kids and all this and this and that and okay blah 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 and then you're at work and depending on well, at least for me in my line of work it's a little fast paced and so you know you could go from you go from one moment i'm like hey uh i'm gonna use the there's no actual or you know what i'm just gonna say student so i don't say any names all right let's say i'm just gonna see, even if i try to make up the name i'm, I'm just gonna say student you're like hey student so how's it going I'm blah, blah, blah. yeah all right that was cool that pokemon all right yeah man that's right and then oh that's right student oh i'm sorry that you're going through that right now let me get you to somebody that that can help you out right hey to what's up man can blah 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 you know so it's kind of crazy that i'll be like hyping out one student and then helping out one student or a moment i notice a student needs some assistance and i'm trying to like see what's up and that minute one other student passes by and they have no idea and i don't want the student to feel bad that another student you know that something might be going on so i go from like oh yeah blah, blah. hey what's up dude yeah i'll catch you later oh i'm sorry about that hey so you know what yeah so blah 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 and so I could be all like this, you know, like, and so it's kind of like, it's a balancing act, you know, it's a roller coaster of emotions, dude. And so like a lot of that thing, sometimes I think that's why I might have a little bit of a hard time organizing things because I'm always trying to do too many things at once. Or I don't know what. And you see, look, like right now I'm trying to hurry up. It's already almost nine minutes in. I haven't even started analyzing it. <laughs> so like, my bad, man, my bad. It happens to be that. It be that way sometimes. Things aren't perfect in this life. And you know what? As you see, these little mistakes have been happening. And yeah, it's getting to be a little bit, but it's all right. It's all right. I'm not going to edit it out. I'm going to leave it in with all the mistakes and everything. Because, oh, well, too bad. That's how it is, right? It's not the end of the world, right? And I don't have, like I said, I don't have people to help me out to do, like, Mr. Beast quality uh, uh, edits or whatever you want to call it. You know, like the YouTube videos that you actually watch. Like, edit, you know? sorry dude but anyway let's get to the important stuff like i said before i keep on talking and there i go i keep on talking right <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 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 
Okay, so all these cables around me, I'm in such a confined space. I'm surprised. I'm, I'm glad I'm not claustrophobic. Because otherwise, right now, I'd be. Let me try one more time. A good, some good stability. Let me find some stability here. Come right now, this ain't working out. Okay. For the thumbnail. Whatever, right? Okay, so Morisaki. Yes, pull. Why? Let me tell you. It's right here. Obviously, you don't want Nita. Nita's not good for anything. The only possible, possible, possible thing he could be used for is Avert Crisis. Any unit. No matter the fact that they're older, they have a vert crisis. You can still somewhat use them. Some what depends. This guy, as long as you have them here, then you could at least set use them as a setup person. That's it. He's not a goal scorer anymore. And even then, I don't like that because look, twelve thousand in pass, not even ten thousand in technique, man. So you're not gonna be that good. It's tech nah, not even when he came out. I didn't like this guy, man. So if he comes out, I would not suggest you bring him up. I, like I said, it, it looks like a vert crisis would give him some kind of utility, but with all this that he has here and whatever, he doesn't even give you the six percent bond, man. Like, nah, this Nita's not good. I don't think he's even saveable at all. So you're pulling obviously for Morisaki because you need somebody to stop Subasa, and he's built specifically to stop Subasa. Right? Almost nobody's gonna use. Uh, people are gonna think that ah, oh, it's the rise of Natureza, but not not really. And I gotta make another video on that to explain why because there has been basically yet another change in the meta and how you form teams so like for a while i've been wanting to take on like a little project where every now and then i come up with videos to go kind of give like i gotta redo the whole beginner's guide i never got to do one in spanish because when i did it in english it was such a daunting task because it was so much and i'm like you know what i don't need to be that detailed i just need to kind of like explain the nuances of the game and blah 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 like the you know you can figure out whatever whatever you see there i go and then the other thing I wanted to do is like kind of like uh, team building strategies and all this stuff. But like right now with the meta and the way that it is, because almost everything is full bond, like this completely destroys the debuff. This one and the ex existence of Subasa, and if you have both of them, forget about it. Anybody even trying to joke around with the debuff, as soon as they see a Morisaki or a Subasa, they will know that they are screwed. They will have absolutely no chance of scoring on Morisaki, and they will have no chance of stopping Subasa. So. This will give him some longevity because his stats are also pretty nice. The only thing is that, of course, sooner or later, they're going to be coming up with some sort of green, powerful striker or something that's going to be his counter. But hopefully it doesn't just keep going back and forth with direct counters with like, oh, a counter for Morisaki and a counter for this guy and a counter for like, give us some defenders too, man. Where the defenders at? Give us some more powerful defenders, please. Uh... Some that we could actually use uh, aside from Ishisaki, you know what I'm saying? Because all the other defenders are tied to the anniversary, so you can't pull them from anything, you know what I mean? But look, in terms of raw stats alone, yeah, Zeno Hernandez is slightly better in terms of punching skill overall because he has a high, he has equal punch, but his speed and power are higher. Therefore, his punch stats in game will be probably higher. Raw stats would be higher than Morisaki, but against an AM probably morisaki gets the better hand and not upper hand and not only that he's blue so that's what makes him a direct counter to both subasa and to misaki and misaki gets relegated down to a more supportive role than he is a goal scorer he can still probably score but he will not score on the he will not score with as much ease as subasa is uh you'll probably be able to score most likely on genzo still but he's gonna struggle against morisaki your best bet is still gonna be what's his face uh subasa but Subasa, you're going to need them at higher uh, and more stamina. So. And without full power, that's your best bet to score on him. When he has full power, forget about it. It's going to be almost impossible. Okay. So, yes, you should pull. Yes, he's worth pulling. The good thing, too, with this guy is that because he's pr practically going to be full punch. He's full puncher, but he's not. So you don't need uh you don't need to do ability ability limit release on him. For Tamatsus, he's good. Raise up his uh his punch, his <laughs> his punch, his punch, his uh speed and power, and you're good. That's it. That's it. For Tamatsus and ability ability 
limit break, not ability limit release. Meaning you don't need any dupes. You just need one, one and one only. And he's plug and play. He's ready to go. You don't need to do anything else. Now, the other thing is that because he's meant specifically to just stop Tsubasa and Misaki, but you have to be mindful. He's a puncher. So there's no guarantee that you're going to get the ball as powerful as he might be. If he stops two or three straight punching ones or whatever, and your opponent keeps getting shots after shots after shots, you know, eventually he's going to take his toll on Morisaki. See how much stamina he has. I mean, he's good at 1347, but how much is his punch? 310. Okay. Maybe good. Some stamina killers are still in order. I don't know. So, you know, at least they kind of kept them modest by not giving them punching master or anything like that. That's wow. Not only is he stopping everything, but he's sending the ball way ahead for an easy counter attack. No, you know. So, yes, you should pull. But I would still say that you always set yourself a limit. 150 to 300 for the most part, depending on how your team is, depending on your team setup. And let me show you why I'm going to go up to possibly 500 on here for him because uh like let's say this one was i just put full auto right just to have it get built up yes i have a good collection of units here but there's not necessarily any further boost beyond that 68 percent that you see right there good. my finger Woo, magic 68 percent right compared to like something like this watch 68 percent on her compared to the team that i already kind of have set up right here which one this one right here uh this one i think i have them almost like this one right here because i have if i use this one but i have to move some stuff around because if i use morisaki well i need another green uh, another green unit somewhere but i would probably have to use them in something like this so it looks like for morisaki on my particular team the most i'd be able to give them is about an extra nine percent boost nine percent boost so like let's say for example then if i use a team like this i have nine percent overall for japanese players but 14 percent to subasa so my subasa reaches about 81 percent in buff right there on that particular squad so my 81 percent subasa might not struggle so much against a 68 percent morisaki get me so that's why you're gonna need to really analyze your team and it's no longer about just plugging in and playing with the strongest units that you have available you actually have to like find ways of buffing them up as much as possible and take advantage of the op players i guess but you know i'll go a lot more into detail later uh when i create another video explaining those things and uh regarding team building and stuff like that and so to me for me because of what i have available at my disposal it's more it makes it's it makes more it's makes more sense for me to go a little bit past my usual limit of 300 besides you saw my login tomorrow i get 50 dream balls so i recover at least one multi from there so and because i didn't go 350 i'm sorry i didn't go 500 i didn't go the 500 i wanted to on subasa so i saved myself 150 right there so if it's 300 that i was gonna pull here Plus the 150 is free from Tsubasa. Plus the 50 I got tomorrow. That's 500 right there. So I'm good. I still can still save up. I can still save up. But for now, those are going to be good. The fact that this uh, Morisaki comes with the shield also will be good. And the fact that I have Genzo will be good. So, you know, for a lot of people, yes, you could skip it if you have Genzo. But. I want to take the risk here and it'll probably be the last risk before I start taking fewer risks going forward. So I have, yeah, because this will complete all three goalkeepers for me. I'll have, I have Zeno Hernandez, I have Genzo, and then I have this one. So I have one for not only every single one of the ranked online modes, but you know, in the future, oh, there's a green counter for this guy. Okay, well, let me bring out Zeno. But then I got to figure out a way to boost Zeno as well, you know, so it'll give me it'll open things up for me because I have access to all three goalkeepers. So 500 dream balls here. Hopefully I get them. And like I was talking about like Chavi, right? Like when I first made the analysis for this one, I was all like, oh, if you're pulling for Chavi, you're pulling for the 7% right here. Well, guess what? Not anymore. At least not for me and not for a lot of people, because right now 
it's about the Japanese players, man. The Japan teams are the strongest ones right now. And it's going to be a lot more difficult to activate the 7% on this one. So for me, there goes 220. I'm going to save because I'm not going to take that chance after all. And that's why I told you guys too. It's a long transfer. It has a lot of days on it. So hold on. Hold on. If I would have made that decision because I wanted to trick, take my chances at wall, well, it's a 50% chance. I'll get 7% bond. And then now I wouldn't be able to activate it. So that's why I wanted to wait to see what was going to come as we got closer to the day to see if it would become convenient for me or not. And even when I got Subasa, I almost pulled. I almost made the justification that well, I didn't spend the 500 dream balls I was going to on Subasa, so I could afford to. But no, I'm glad I didn't. So think about it first, guys. Just because the transfer is new doesn't mean you have to pull on it right away. You can hold on a little bit. Practice patience, please. Uh, like even on this one. I'm, I would want to pull for this guy to get the 7%, right? But the thing is that he requires three skill type Japanese players. Three skill type Japanese players. And if I choose to use Espadas for that 50% on the full power, then he's not Japanese. So it wouldn't qualify. And I would take out Genzo, who's my third Japanese one. So I might even be able to, you know? So I don't want to take the 120. As a matter of fact, I want to wait for that to end so that I could try my luck here. I have nine tickets. So by the end of the month, we'll get another three from the leagues and all that stuff. And I'll be able to pull a multi and then hopefully I get them from there. And if not, well, oh, well, it's 1% extra from what I got right now. I'm not going to fret over it. I'm not going to fret over a 1% increase, a 1% boost that I could have spending 120 dream balls. That's a chance to get them. Granted, 500 dream balls right here. It seems like, well, why are you spending 500 dream balls right here? Knockoff is even less of a chance. There's no guarantees. I know. But sometimes you got to take those risks. All right. So 500 dream balls for me. Hopefully you didn't go all the way. And if you did, well, hopefully you have a plan or you have something. Like I said, I buy the pack that gives me 155 dream balls every 30 days for like six bucks, dude. You get five dream balls every day on the last one. You get 10 and booyah, easy, six bucks. I don't pay for Netflix. I don't do all that stuff. I watch all my content on YouTube, uh, Twitch, all kinds of different stuff like that. So you know what? Let me send out, uh, I guess, a shout out, if you will. Uh, there's a couple of people that I watch on Twitch sometimes. Uh, I think it's Retro Soccer. And another one was like Jason Gamer or something like that. Mostly in Spanish, but they're every now and then they'll stream Captain Subasa Dream Team live on Twitch. So, you know, those are the things that I check out. So that Netflix subscription I'm not paying for. Boom. It goes into my $3 for the paid Dream Balls at the, big, at the middle of the month. $3 at the end of the month. So that's $6. Put my $6 for that. $12. $12 a month for 155 regular free dream balls and 30 paid which this time I had been stacking up my paid dream balls and none of the battle pass ones were worth it for me but now one finally came and I spent my paid dream balls on that because I needed to have that Hayato yes or yes for the easy access to 7% so think about it right don't just pull please all right before we get to the pools on my account my personal account, my main account here. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave your comment down below if you decided to pull it. How many did you get them in? Let's go. Let me make some space real quick, just in case or whatever. Okay. Because I don't have that many dream balls to be a waste in just for the heck of it on making space. So let's make that space. All right. So 500 dream balls would bring me up to what? How many SP? A hundred. Yeah, because it's 1,500 for 300 SP, so 100 SP here. Okay. Come on, Morisaki. Not only do I want you to come to my team, but please come to me early. I do not want to go 500, but if I had to go 500 to get you, it's all good. But please, just come to the squad. Let's go. <laughs> all right, nothing to start. Maybe because I got a little lucky with a Vasa that maybe I won't get him here. It'd be nice if along the way I get like a DC Chester, preferably the new one, but I would not mind the second to last one that came out because they both have inspiration and they have some cool stuff, you know. But it would be nice. It would be nice if I get one of those. One of those. One of the two. One of the two, please. If I'm gonna go 500 Dream Balls, at least give me that along the way. As well as Morisaki. That's three in a row with nothing. 
It's cool. It's cool. 150 dream balls. So far, absolutely nothing. If my decision, like I said, most of the time, if it's a player I don't really necessarily need, I'll take my chances with 150. It's cool. You know? If I really want them, I, I increase it to like 300 right now because I feel that I need them. 500. Right? And sometimes, you know, that would have sucked. If those were I, uh, the only 150 that I pulled and I got nothing. But it could still suck if I end up pulling 500 and I get absolutely nothing. So, it's scary. It's a little scary for sure. But here's hoping that it gets better. Fourth pull. Three straight with absolutely nothing. Come on, come on, man. Oh, yeah. Uh, Chester, 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 Chester. Well, thanks for giving me the 7% shield now that it's no longer needed at all. At all. 40 SP. We get to 100. That means we got six multis left. Oh, yeah, yeah. It feels like a lot, but feels like so little. But we got a rainbow here, so it looks like we got a little something, something. At least we're guaranteed to get a little something, something. Doesn't look good. Doesn't look promising. Ah. Ah. Two of nothing. Two chances for Chester. Please, 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 please. Well, the good thing about this Mario Ghost, but not really anymore. When I got the paid one, the one that gives negative uh, nine percent as a debuff, I needed a good pass. So here it is. But at this point, I'm not gonna use that player anymore. Cause it's not worth it. At least not right now. Halfway through already, I'm getting nervous. <sighs> Five multis, only two SS, three SSR so far, but none of them have been. None of them have been good or delightful or pleasant. And here we go with another empty one. We're going to go ahead and put to sleep that myth, that legend once again that we like to do on this channel just to prove that it's not true. It's not true when you do the friendly transfer and then you try and pull. <laughs> yes. Woo. This makes me so happy because I had one of these cards of this specific one right here at uh, level two. And I didn't want to use them to pass on the 3M to Misaki because then, well, I'm going to waste the level two one. So I had to wait and wait and wait and hope that this guy would pop out so that I could burn the skill and get it. So, yeah, 3M. Here we go. Let's go. At least we got that. At least we got that finally. Yes. Okay. So the myth, the legend, the falsehood, the one that has absolutely no merit. This does absolutely nothing other than create superstition and doubt in people. So let's do it. <laughs> I swear it works. I'm gonna be laughing. Nah. I told you. I told you. See, we're dispelling, we're debunking myths right here. We're dispelling falsehoods right here. Okay. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> Three pulls left, man. Can you believe it? Three pulls left. I'm gonna go 500 here and end up with a whole lot of nothing. So far. The black letters are what make it. Mm, I knew it, dude. Damn, I hate Dream Collection, man. <laughs> I hate pulling on this banner, dude. Well, you saw that. That's why I had to go to the pity just to get Genzo with an increased rate up. Not just rate up, but increased SSR chance. And I still really had to go to the pity, man. 
Terrible, dude. Hey, Dream Collection. Never again do I want to go 500 on Dream Collection. Okay. Like I said, there are worse things in this world, I know. But these pools have been terrible, dude. Terrible. The only one dream collection card, wow, and that and that Mario Goth or whatever, right? But that's not gonna be really useful to me at all. And just because I could pull a little bit more doesn't mean I'm gonna. So it's gonna be my last one. And if I don't get him, oh well. I got Genzo, I got Zeno, oh well, right? But wow, I mean, did it have to be this bad? I mean, I guess I, I saw other YouTubers going through the same thing in some other pool that like when they were pulling for Subasa and it looked terrible. Lately, man, I feel I, I hate the confetti, dude. And this game seems to know not only that fact. This is the last pool. I've been saying it. On my last video, it was the last pool and the confetti again. And I didn't trust it then, and I don't trust it now, and I don't think I'm getting anything. So screw you, confetti. You're not getting my hopes up. Of course, you can't win them all. It happens, but the worst part of it is when you get like this one probably has to be one of my worst pulls in a minute, or at least maybe it's just I'm I'm just going through recency bias, or maybe just the fact that I'm off 500 and it hurts that I didn't get. I mean, that was bad, dude. That was bad. That was pretty bad. I'm not cool with that. I'm not happy about it. But you know what? Whatever. I have a decent, decent and all right team going on right now. So I guess it doesn't matter. Um, oh, well, life goes on. We wait till the next one. Hopefully then I do. Uh, I need to really start focusing on playing some more online matches anyway for this to hurt even more. For it to even matter as much as it does to me right now. But you know what? Ah, uh, well, you see, it happens to all of us. You could go 150 and get them. You could go 500, get them. You could go 1,000. You don't get them. It happens. It happens. Ah, well. Big F on this one. But whatever. I got to go now. I got stuff to do. I will record some more uh, in a few days. But I need to stop here so that I can upload this one and the one I did in Espanol. And get them up to you guys as soon as possible. And then remind you guys about the giveaway. I forgot to do that in the Spanish one. But anyway, regarding the giveaway, that yeah, I'm going to pull on that account towards the end of the transfer. And then I will announce a winner then. And well, don't forget to participate if you want that account because it looks pretty good. I might go all in on that one too just because we got lucky with that. But you know, we'll see. We'll see. But oh well. Thank you. Hopefully you made it this far. Hopefully you made it to the end. And I appreciate you for doing that. And I hope you let the ads run so I can get a letter or something, something in return. And well, if you didn't, well, hopefully you do it next time. And if you don't want to do it next time, that's okay. You're adding to my watch time hours, and I appreciate that as well. I do appreciate that. So, uh, this is the part where I remind you to please practice kindness. Let's be respectful. Let's be responsible. Let's be safe. Take care of yourself and each other. With much love and peace. Good luck in your pulls, y'all. See you on the next one.